Hi there, my name is Queer and I'm a photographer and in today's video we're going to break down the making of this image, especially what we have done in Photoshop. haven't seen, if you haven't watched the behind the scenes video of this particular session, you can go and watch it. The link is in the description box below. Before we get started, a little backstory. This wasn't the original idea. Straight out of the camera, it looks like that. Initially, I was aiming this kind of result. This image was made on a totally different session, of course, with a ballet dancer inside a museum. But the difference between the two images is that on the second one, you have the leg on the left side that is kind of continuing the line made by the fabric on the right side. On the other image, you have the left side remaining completely empty. So here we are weeks after the shoot. I'm with this image and I don't like the framing if we leave it like it is. Basically, I wish that we had taken a few more images on the left side with the fabric so that we can kind of have the fabric on both sides and have a more balanced image. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you crop that picture and reframe your shot? No, 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 I don't like that. I really like how the model is positioned in the center and the three windows behind her. I want to keep it that way. So what can we do? How far can we go with what we have? Can we make it work? You know what? Let's find out. Open Photoshop and import all the images you need for your right side. Before you go any further, I assume you have a basic understanding of Photoshop and how layer works and masking works. If not, you can check out in the description box below. There are a few links that will help you understand a few elements, a few elements and techniques that I will mention in this video. Select the layers and auto align them. Create a mask when needed and mask out, paint out or paint in the parts that you need to create your dress, your epic fabric. And since we made a rather symmetric shot, just use a few of them, the ones that might work on the other side. Just take your images and flip the images horizontally. Once you have done all that, we are going to use a simple dodge and burn to enhance or decrease light and shadows on the fabric and body of our model. Thank you. 
Once this is done, we can color grade to our taste. So we will use a color balance layer to have a good starting base. I usually look at the skin tones and the fabric. It is of course a matter of taste. Here I feel that the white is a bit too white, a bit too intense. So I'll use a simple selective color layer to reduce that. Now to add some colors. I love using gradient maps for this. This image is a bit too warm in the highlights to my taste. And I also want that a little mix of green and a blue in the shadow. This gives a nice contrast with the, the warmth of the skin. Then we can use curves and levels to guide the viewer's eyes, but we will use a gradient fill here, going from dark brown to light, giving more importance to the upper part of the image and a little warmth to the overall picture. A little S curve to boost slightly the highs and darkens and darken, sorry, the lows. And I will reduce the overall contrast and brightness a bit. I've done it throughout already. You can, of course, play with the opacity of each layer if you feel the effect is too strong. So that's it. Here is the before, here is the after. Of course, it's better to think this through beforehand to prepare and have all the images you need to create your vision. From simple dresses to much bigger ones, epic ones, I try my best to make everything in camera. These images, I didn't modify anything. For these images, I modified a few things here and there. Of course, the more ambitious you get, the more difficult it will be for you to not consider using Photoshop to help you in post. Let me wish you a fantastic week and tell me in the comments below if you wish to see more videos like this one in the future. Of course, I will see you guys in the next one, but until then, please have a good one.